Hi everybody, meteorologist Joe Chaffee here, weather in five, five days in five minutes. Weather in five is brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware, Long Island's largest rock salt source. And the source for all your winter storm needs, whether it's uh, spreaders, shovels, snow blowers, rock salt, mag ice melting pellets and flakes, pedal low premium salt, and ice melter and bio melt and geo melt, whatever it is you need to clear out the winter stuff, Omni True Value Hardware will be there for you. 631-756-1125, 1226 North Wellwood Avenue, West Babylon, New York. Website is omnitruevalue.com. We have had such great weather the last four or five days. The uh, deep blue skies, sunshine, uh, the humidity has actually been very reasonable. Uh, we've seen almost cloud-free conditions, but you know this is not going to last forever, and uh, we are ha we do have rain in the forecast, and it looks like uh, from Wednesday into Friday morning, uh, we are forecasting anywhere from an inch to an inch and a half of rain in most places, but you go from southern New Jersey on southward into uh, Maryland and in northeast Virginia, for example, you can get anywhere from uh, two to two and a half inches of rain being indicated that indicated there for southern and southeastern new england it's maybe more of along the lines of an inch to an inch and a quarter with lower amounts as you move up into uh, upstate new york and into new england really not a whole lot of rain at all uh, the drought still continues for new england so we wish we could say that we had more rain coming for your particular area but uh, for now uh, this will be a decent shot if it verifies and we don't have to worry about it today because uh, today we are looking at uh, sunshine pretty much for the rest of the day and that will uh, take our high temperatures uh, up uh, into the 70s away from uh, the coastal locations and you see them there mostly low and middle 70s 60s right along the immediate coast there might be a few records uh, the uh, the low hanging fruit as i like to call it those record highs that are really not all that high because uh, the data only goes back maybe about 40 or 50 years. There might still be a few record highs today, uh, but these numbers are a little bit lower than what we've been seeing, and that has to do with the fact that our high is finally moving out to the east, and our wind, instead of being from the west, which is a dry wind, is gradually going to start coming up from the south as we go through the day. Check out the satellite uh, loop here. We're still uh, dealing with plenty of sunshine here in the Northeast and Northern Mid-Atlantic states, but you also can see the very large circulation, uh, The uh, what almost looks like a gyre here, this, this large uh, spinning area that at the very bottom of it is Tropical Storm Ada. Uh, and this uh, large circulation is pulling up uh, tropical moisture from the southeast across uh, from the caribbean into the bahamas and starting to move that into the gulf states and into the southeastern part of the united states so this stuff is going to be moving northeastward meanwhile we do have a weather front and low pressure heading for the western great lakes that's got its own area of uh, rain and showers and then that is uh, going to be pushing eastward as well so between the two systems we're going to wind up getting something as far as ADA is concerned, that is still a bit of a mystery in terms of how that this may play out. And I'll, and I'll show you what I mean when we get uh, to the weather models here in, in a moment. Uh, the rain still continues over parts of Florida and into the southeast, although clearly it's far less than what it has been. And then we've got these showers and heavy rain, and there's some snow also here on the backside in parts of Nebraska and, and into to South Dakota. This is moving northeastward, and this will start pushing to the east. But I don't think this rain gets here until later tomorrow afternoon or quite possibly not until tomorrow night. Our high is well offshore. You see the frontal boundary that runs from the Great Lakes down into Texas. And then you look uh, in the uh, Gulf of Mexico. Ada has actually taken a course, by the way, that moved it through the Florida Straits and then turned it southwestward. So now it's kind of waiting for something to start pushing it north or maybe even north northeast. And there's a, still a lot of uncertainty as to whether that's going to happen or not. Over the next seven days, uh, we could see uh, two inch plus rains for much of the um, northern mid-Atlantic uh, up into maybe southern New England, goes uh, drops a little bit uh, lower as you head up through central and northern New England, and larger rains of three, four, five inches 
uh, through the central and southern Appalachians down into northern Georgia. You also see that the rain area does relax somewhat over Florida, and then we have it very busy with rain in the Pacific Northwest. So I'm going to take you through uh, the uncertainty of Ada. This uh, this uh, graphic here, the um, latest hurricane uh, track models, which are all over the place. You've got some of them taking it northeast over Florida, some of it taking it up into the southeast and then northeast from there. Others even turning it to the west, and in which case it winds up on many models just weakening to a remnant low. And here in the intensity models, still being indicated to be a high-end tropical storm. There are a couple that want to strengthen this to minimal hurricane over the next 48 hours. Uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye on, on uh, the development there in the Gulf of Mexico, uh, the convection on the satellite. You notice there's this big ball of convection that looks like it's been increasing. So it's not out of the question that this could strengthen a bit as it moves northward. But as far as our forecast is concerned, no issues, obviously, for the rest of, the, of, of today. Uh, and also uh, for tonight, I think we may get into some low clouds and fog because the wind goes more south. Uh, during the overnight and into tomorrow, you see that frontal boundary to the west starts to get enhanced and also a little bit of tropical moisture comes up from the south. But this is at two o'clock Wednesday afternoon and that rain is still back in western Pennsylvania down into West Virginia. So it holds off until sometime Wednesday evening into early Thursday morning. We get a bit of a break, and then another surge of moisture on the NAM comes up for later Thursday into Thursday afternoon and evening. So the models seem to be changing on, on how this plays out. And part of the reason for that is if you watch Ada here, it is moving to the northeast. And on this particular run of the GFS, it actually brings it over Florida, North Florida on Thursday, uh, and moves it off the southeast coast. So some of that tropical moisture gets involved in, in, uh, up here. And then uh, we see that moves out to the east off North Carolina. Still see some lingering showers on Friday if this verifies. And I'm kind of leaning in this direction. I'm going to keep an eye on, on the tropical storm to see what it does. But if this winds up verifying, the good news is that we get all of this out of the way. And then we've got a nice high that will build in for the weekend. Yeah, it'll be on the chilly side. But uh, we will at least, if we get Ada out of the equation, uh, that cuts off uh, moisture to, to, to a certain extent uh, for uh, the system that follows over the weekend. So we could wind up having a nice Saturday and not a half bad Sunday. Here's the GFS from overnight, uh, left Ada behind in the Gulf of Mexico, but was still pretty bullish with rainfalls on th th into Thursday, went tomorrow night into Thursday. And then a little lingering shower activity on Friday, but Saturday looked good. And now it just kind of lost the rain for Sunday. And you have to wait till probably sometime on Monday before we wind up getting some showers with a stronger cold front. Behind that, it turns pretty cold for a couple of days, or at least colder than what we've seen uh, in a while around here. So bottom line is enjoy the rest of your afternoon because it just looks absolutely fantastic out there. Weather in five uh, brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware, uh, Long Island's largest rock salt provider, 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York, 631-756-1125. The website is omnitruevalue.com for more information. They got everything you need to help you through the winter storms when we finally get them. All right, folks, uh, we uh, are going to have our Joe and Joe weather show tonight. That's at 730 Eastern time on my YouTube channel, Joe Chaffee. So be sure to tune in to that for that and uh, have a great day. We'll see you later.